Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name is Garrett, and today we'll be taking a look at the Accuretta Cleany wash station. But before we jump into that, um, I should address what happened with Printmas. Um, if you've been following the channel, you know that we set out to do three videos a week in the month of December and obviously that didn't happen. So I just wanted to mention it here. Uh, those videos weren't performing as well as we had hoped and uh, YouTube kind of does this thing that if you put out a bunch of videos that underperform in a row, they kind of see it as a trend and they can kind of tank your channel. So we decided to stop that. Um, we wanted to bring out some more videos for you guys, but um, we had to take a step back and look um, at what we were doing in those videos and we're gonna try and make them more interesting. So they'll take longer to get to you guys, but um, I just wanted to keep you guys updated and think that we didn't just drop off again. But stay tuned because I promise we've got some really, really cool stuff coming up. Okay, with that out of the way, um, let's talk about the Accuretta Cleany. Uh, first off, what is it? Uh, it is a wash station for resin prints. And if you've never seen one of these before, they're pretty cool. Um, if you've ever worked with resin 3D printers before, you know what a pain um, cleaning them off after they're done printing can be. Um, it's a very messy process. You have to take the print off. You have to wear gloves. You have to get in there with like a toothbrush, dunk it in alcohol, and basically clean off all the little crevices and stuff like that. It's just, it's not a fun process. And it's pretty time consuming and can be a headache if you, um, or in a hurry, I guess, or if you have to do a lot of them. The Cleany hopes to automate that process for you. Um, you can basically take your print, stick it in one of the chambers, and it will swirl the alcohol around in there cleaning the part for you. Now the Accurate Cleaning actually has two different chambers, so if you wanna put it through a two-pass um, system, you can do that here. Um, you can use either water or alcohol. In our experiences, we mostly just use one of the chambers and um, filled it with alcohol. You could also just use both of the chambers if you have more than one thing to clean at a time. It also has some metal rails that you can adjust that will allow you to place the whole bed with the part on it in there um, if you have a bed that's small enough to fit this machine, which is super handy because then you don't have to touch it at all. You can just move it from the printer to the wash station and then it will clean it up um, and save you a lot of the, the mess and trouble of doing it yourself. Now, of course, you still have to go through and cure it and everything after this, but it just takes a lot of the headache from the washing standpoint. They have a few different settings you can change while you're using the machine. Um, you can choose how long you wanna put it in for. I think most of ours, we just went the, the bare minimum of, of time, which I think was three minutes. And that seemed to do the trick, but there was one bigger print that I think Chelsea may have gone up to the, the five minutes, and I think they even have a 10 minute cycle. Okay, so that's pretty much what the Cleany is. Um, now let's talk about our experience with it and how we liked it. I should mention that this is our first experience with any of these washing sta uh, washing machines. We Everything we've done up to this point has been with our hands. We had a little toothbrush and a little tub filled with alcohol. Um, and we just took the part out wearing some gloves and scrubbed the crap out of it. So just know that we're coming at it from that standpoint. But like I said, for our, most of our prints so far, we only used one of the chambers and we used um, IPA alcohol and we pretty much only used the three minute setting, so the lowest time setting, and it seemed to clean very, very well. The prints were coming off of our Elegoo machines and using uh, Soraya Tech resin, and it did a phenomenal job there. Um, sometimes if you don't do a good enough job washing it by hand, it can kind of feel sticky and you don't really want that. And uh, none of the prints using this felt sticky at all. They felt really, really good. and. It, honestly, it felt like um, the machine did a better job than we could have done by hand, just spending a lot of time with it. So honestly, we are really enjoying it and I think we'll be using it um, for pretty much every print that will fit um, in the future. But that does lead me into the few drawbacks we have here. Um, the first one is the price. Um, it is a little pricey. It's uh, coming in at more expensive than most of our resin printers, which it can be a drawback based on your budget. And then aside from the price, another drawback can be the size of the chambers. They are pretty small. And even with the Elegoo Mars, which I already think has a pretty small build volume, um, if you print something super tall on that, you won't be able to put it in the chamber with the bed. Um, so just be conscious of the, um, the size restraints that they have in the two chambers, because um, if you're printing bigger things, they may not fit. But if you, for instance, are printing a bunch of miniatures and you just need something that will clean them off quickly, I think this would work perfectly for you. So just to wrap it up, um, I definitely recommend this if you have the money to spend on it and if the things you're printing will fit within the build volume. But I actually wanna hear from you guys. Um, I know that there's a lot of new people in the resin printing space. 
Um, we've been here for a while, but this is our first experience with this. So I want to know, do you guys have any experience with any sort of washing slash curing stations? Uh, let me know down in the comments and let me know what you think of them because these are definitely something that makes the process quite a bit easier. And one of the biggest drawbacks of resin is that it is so messy and time consuming. So products like this that can help that process, I think will become a bigger and bigger part of this whole thing. So um, if you'd like to see more of the, these type of videos, let us know. All right guys, well, thank you for watching and until next time, keep creating.